Hundreds of Jewish students and others rallied on the campus of UC Berkeley today saying the university is not responding to allegations of anti-Semitism on campus. KTVU's Tom Baker tells us the group marched and called for administrators to enforce existing policies. The pro-Israeli demonstrators cite these flashpoints of contention at UC Berkeley, the cancellation of an Israeli speaking event when pro-Palestinian protesters stormed the building, as well as a lot of on-campus anti-Jewish slurs and harassment. Demonstrators also complain that pro-Palestinian protesters have blocked Sather Gate for weeks on end. We see this with Sather Gate. We saw this at Zellerbach Playhouse. We don't want to see it anymore. Now is when the university administration must enforce its policies. There can be no compromise about freedom of movement, about the freedom to walk about our campus, whatever one's identity, without fear of harassment or intimidation. No student. We respect our, our classmates' right to free speech, too, and we think that's important. But we're here because the administration has refused to date to enforce its policies and to make sure that Sathergate is open to all students. As they marched across the campus, the group went around Sathergate to avoid direct conflict. We are doing this every day. Our audience is the university and our demand that the university divest. Our audience is the students to know that there's a genocide happening. The university says civil disobedience, such as blocking Sather Gate, does not call for police actions, but if there's violence, campus police will intervene. What we don't want is a bigger protest. What we don't want is conflict. What we don't want is violence. Those are the things we prioritize. From the beginning to the end, it was peaceful and respectful, just as it should always be. So that was the goal, to show that you can be peaceful and have different ideas in this Jewish community and non-Jewish community, and that we can be successful as we live together in a pluralistic democracy. One pedestrian did force herself through the paper sign at the gate, which was quickly repaired. Tom Baker, KTVU Fox 2 News.